Hey, uh, this is Melissa Molini, and i um, coming to you straight from the lab, you know, no paper, no pen, no pad, just me and my <laughs> crazy mind. Um, today, I want to talk to you about being friends with the exes. Now, me personally, I'm still friends with all my exes, and I love that because I feel like this. If we, apparently when we first started, it had to be a connection that we started as friends and we built something that led to a relationship. Some of y'all built something from the bed on up. And, you know, that's, that's, that's you, whatever. If, you, if it works for you, then fine. But for me personally, I like to build something with a man from the ground up, like, you know, just basically going at it with, you know, the friendship and, you know, then setting up for monogamy. But a lot of people don't think that you can be friends with your ex, and a woman and a man can be friends. I totally disagree with this. Yes, I said it. I totally disagree with that statement. A man and a woman can be friends, yes. A man and a woman can be friends without sex. In my situation, yes. It... It can, because I value that friendship that that we have established, and because I value that that friendship, you know, I want to honor that, and I feel that despite that we couldn't be together, doesn't mean that you know that we can't, you know, we're just gonna let that you won't let all that go, nigga. Especially if we have been together for like years. I mean, I ain't never seen no years and no dude, but still, I'm just seeing, you know, if I put in five, six, seven, some of y'all out here pulling twenty years, like y'all getting the pension plan from these relationships, and I know y'all not. And I'll be damned, that's another story, but I'll be damned if I give a nigga 20 years, 20 years of my time, and you decide, I peace, you peace, nigga, if I gotta drag you, yes, monkey drag your freaking black, crispy, crunchy, cool ass to the altar, you was marrying me. If I give you 20 years, nigga, that's a retirement plan. I want my 40 acres and my damn you, yes, but... <laughs> Take it out a notch, yes, just, just a little bit. You know, I just feel like, yes, a man and a woman should be able to be friends, you know, and, you know, if it's built on that, if it's built on that, because at the end of the day, you know, you're not supposed to be laying down with no nigga that you can't see yourself being friends with, because he should be your friend first, and then from there, it should just go to whatever, to a, to a relationship, to the next level. But don't be, you know, when you when you see these guys, you know, not only looking at his shoes, you know what I'm saying? I know, because I know that's a, mm, that tells me a lot about a person. <laughs> you're looking at his shoes, you need to also be looking, you know what I'm saying? Forget the package and all that. Look at the mentality, because I want a nigga to mental fuck me. Because if he mental fuck me, that lets me know that, you know what I'm saying, we're going to a different level. You know, I want a relationship that's based on more than just sex. You know? So, I don't know what to tell y'all. I mean, I know we can be friends in my world, at least. Mm -hmm. I holler. As always, mm -hmm. see y'all.